given the bigger stakes about the Democratic Convention and whether the, a, a coronation of a candidate that has questionable elections from the East Coast to the West Coast has much authority and is in fact the strongest candidate to bring to the presidency. Okay, I got so. another one here. If we win the election incompetence case, how will that affect the convention? I want to try to put this to rest because the question keeps getting put up in various different ways. Uh, it is my belief that it's not going to affect the convention at all, uh, except on a level of, oh my God, what happened in California and why is it so poorly run? And then hope, hopefully the bigger question about all over the country. That's the best way for it to affect the convention, if we win. Because if we win, we will have done something extraordinary by stopping the certification or in some similar method proving that this election was completely done wrong, for lack of a better word. Uh, so in, t in terms of actual delegates, you know, I think we're talking about a handful of delegates going from one category to the other. But the big one is the very reason that Hillary fought so hard for California in the first place. She said, I don't even need California. Then why'd she fight so hard? Why so many provisionals done? Because she knew it was about perception as well as reality. I think the same is true here. Um, there's a question. Um, do you have any sample letters for what people, or suggestions for what people would say to the letters of the editor? Yeah, it should be short. It, no more than 300 words, preferably 200 words. It should be about stuff you know about and are not doing it like on a second-hand basis. It should come from the heart. It should offer a solution so people don't feel hopeless. What is the solution? The solution for me is to, one, transform the electoral process in this country, and two, in the short term, uh, to support this lawsuit so that the, this investigation continues. Um, I have a, uh, another one uh, with respect to um, the Ohio lawsuit. It says, how many lawyers are working this case? In their case, it's uh, Cliff Arnebeck and Bob Fetrakis, okay? And then it says, in the Ohio RICO lawsuit, can the defense file for a motion just to delay the case? Yes, it can, it can fight it. It can, it can create delays. And this is where our alternative media becomes really important. Thank you. I can't emphasize it enough. Because if you have um, the defense filing to try to delay, for instance, to delay revealing exit poll data to delay being able to get to ballots in eight of these states, uh, or, or actually 11 of these states that showed big differences between exit polls and vote totals. Um, uh, the media that shows this up becomes a profound education for the American people, the alternative media, because there's still a lot of people who actually think that our elections are worthy of trust. And we first have to get a huge group of people aware that our elections can truly, truly, truly be, be hacked into and, and changed. Because without that large body of people, it's not going to happen. And, and I, as somebody who's worked in election integrity since 03 on up, it's one of the, for example, the least well-funded situations, um, uh, statisticians and election integrity, people are working for free or, or uh, you know, on a total, total shoestring, and lawyers as well. And so, you know, we need to, um, to rise up to create, become agents of change. Certainly, I want to say and acknowledge many people have made small donations to trustvote.org and I want to thank you all out there and that's going to go further the cause and as we build this movement um, you know my take will be there'll be even more donations and we can uh, we even have a donation button for lawsuits and your costs and things and uh, and we can begin to step up to uh, you know Big Brother on a certain level, but we absolutely need the media. And I just want to repeat my little epithet that I do, which 
which is so important, that right now the way our country exists is if I'm a politician and I want you to vote for me, I, and I want you actually to write me a big check, you know, the biggest that you can. I don't want you to think that your th vote is going to be thrown away and your, your election contribution, your money, your precious money is basically as good as toilet paper, okay? And if I'm a television station or a radio station or a newspaper, newspaper and I'm expecting millions of dollars coming to me from uh, the Republican and Democratic parties as we try to create our election, I don't, I don't want to mention anything about election fraud because I'm not going to get those millions of dollars coming in, okay? And if I am uh, the exit poll company and I get handsomely rewarded by the media consortium of the AP and NBC, CBS, um, MSNBC, Fox News, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I don't. Um, you know, I want to keep on my job. You know, every other year I want to get lots of money pouring in from uh, the, uh, the TV stations and the media consortium to me. So I edit my exit polls to fit the vote totals. And then sadly I have to bring up as if I am a registrar and I'm a career government official looking forward to my pension when I retire. I, I don't want anything looking like it's anything's happened on my watch. And I, I uh, you know, I also have very nice dinners and or lunches with election company vendors and, and sometimes I get some extra things and, you know, I really trust these people who come with their machines. And so, you know, I want to defend my choices. All right? And then periodically I want to say there is a registrar like Carolyn Cernich who, who made a choice to adopt the Trackenberg system at the suggestion of people in Humboldt County. And I want you to know for the eight years she served <coughs> as a registrar, she was voted the most popular uh, government official in Humboldt County. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, and people would stop her on the street and thank her so much for doing things. And voter participation went way up in Humboldt County because people had a chance to trust their election. And so my hope is to see this system begin to spread. This is trustvote.org. Trust